achieving gender equality is one of the world's major goals and its defining challenge. It turns out gender equality is not just morally important, it also makes good economic sense. A new report from the International Monetary Fund finds that removing barriers to workplace equality for women can have major gains to national economic growth. There is ample evidence by now that shows when women participate in greater numbers in the economy, there can be significant macroeconomic gains. For example, our research shows that when women participate at the same rate as men, uh, gains uh, in the U.S. could be about 5% of GDP, in Japan up to 9% of GDP, in the United Arab Emirates up to 12% of GDP, and up to as much as 34% in a country like Egypt. Unfortunately, it's not so easy in reality. In many countries, there are major legal barriers that prevent women from receiving the same economic or workplace rights as men. In 90% of countries, there is at least one law that impacts women differentially than men. These could be laws that apply to women's ability to open a bank account, to own property, to inherit property, and indeed even to be able to look for a job. Uh, we find that the gender gap in labor force participation, the rate at which women and men participate, the difference between these two, can be impacted not only by things like taxation and access to childcare and education, but also these legal restrictions. We found that when um, legal barriers are removed, meaning to say when the gap between uh, the women's ability to own property, inherit property, uh, and, and open bank accounts are removed, there, it, there can be a powerful effect on the rate at which women choose to participate in the labor force. In fact, we found that the removal of these restrictions can lead to up to a 5% increase in female labor force participation rates, and this effect comes on top of closing gender gaps in education, in taxation, and the provision of childcare facilities. Countries that are um, serious about closing the gender gap in labor force participation should take a look at their laws and look to see if there are gender there's gender-based discrimination in these laws and uh, try to remove them. So the good news is gender equality is strengthening. The bad news? It's happening at a very slow pace. Unless policy changes are enacted, full wage equality will not happen for another eight decades. Brendan Pastor, South South News, New York. Thank <laughs> you.